Happy Homebrew Wednesday, folks. Ryan Patrick Murphy here, drinking a little store-bought beer. Yeah, I'm out of homebrew. I, uh, I blew the keg of Dead Ringer Saturday night, so I need to get my Saison or Mexican Cerveza. I gotta pick, probably the Mexican Cerveza needs to go. Um, need to get that put into a keg. And I'll have something to drink. In the meantime, I got some store-bought beer, which, man, this stuff is dirty as hell. You know, we, we talk about homebrew being full of junk. Look at this. This is the uh, Sweet Action from Six Point. It's a pretty good beer, actually. But, uh, yeah, it's about 5.2% uh, ABV, 34 IBUs. It's a pretty good, I'd say it's a pale ale. I think somebody, somewhere it gets referred to as a cream ale sort of thing, but... It's a pretty decent pale ale, I think. Ooh. Yum. So today, you can probably hear the sparge water going right now. I am brewing a sand dune cream ale. It's an all grain recipe. Um, it's from Adventures in Home Brewing. I've never brewed any of their kits before. So, this will be a first here. Uh, let's have in it, it has eight and a half pounds of two row, one pound of flaked mace, and eight ounces of crystal ten. Um, it's not exact. There's probably a little more two row in that uh, in the uh, in that ratio because when I, I bought this kit when I got my grain mill, and I didn't have any other grain to throw through the mill first to get all the uh, metal shavings up, so I took about a half pound out of this kit. But so it was half pound of mix a two row and crystal ten so that's been replaced with half pound two row so you don't have quite as much crystal in there as it originally came with but it, it's not enough that's going to affect anything i even thought about throwing like a little bit of crystal 80 that i do have in there and just but no that's ridiculous um right now it's raising the temperature up to mash out so it's about 167 degrees it needs to get to. And then I'll pull it all out and sparge. Um, I did remember this time to use my pH 5.2 stabilizer, or 5.2 pH stabilizer. I don't know if this stuff works um, or makes better mash or not. Because I keep forgetting to use it. I've used it about once in the grandfather, I think. So I remember to do it today. Uh, I don't really have a whole lot else going on. Uh, the State Fair beers, I think I told you last week I got them bottled and kegged. So those kegs, hopefully next week I'll be able to put one of those in the kegerator. Uh, let's take a, let's just take a look at the grandfather, shall we? Let's, not the AC is going to kick on. Have to use the mess around here. <laughs> look at that! Look at that clear beer. Oh, it's work. You see the grate in there? You got sparge water, a little over three gallons. We're 165, so I'll be uh, taking that out pretty soon. It's kind of fun to get back and doing some brewing. I haven't done it in a while, about a little over a month, so. Uh, next weekend I will, or this coming weekend I guess, technically I will be delivering my state fair beers, the Amber Ale and the ESB. Uh, I, mean, I haven't really come up with any names yet, there have been some name suggestions out there. I might just go, you know, uh, put some remnants of a little homage to my, uh, company I work for, uh, which I won't really go into detail about that, but uh, we call one of them the Axe Handle Amber. Axe Handle Amber, I don't know. And you guys are gonna think I work for a logging company or something if I say that, but. And the uh, Falcon's Nest ESB, I think that's what it's gonna be. I think we're gonna go Axe Handle Amber Ale and the uh, Falcon's Nest ESB. Which, when I taste the ESB, it's probably about what it tastes like, <laughs> Falcon's Nest. 
Oh man, I hope some a little bit of time and carbonation helped that beer. Ugh. That one was a rough one. Of course, the amber tasted really good and the carbonation may actually make that one not taste so good. So it's it's always hard to say when you got some bottle conditioning going on and keg conditioning. Those beers will change when they get carbonated. Sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worst. Yeah. But it's the name of the game. That's why we do what we do, right? Well, thanks for watching this week, folks. Cheers, 17. We'll catch you next time. I'm out.